<laughs> I love recording an entire video for it to just not be there when I'm done. All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. My second attempt at this, not that it really matters to anybody. Just wrapped up recording for about an hour only to discover that the entire video is not there. So it's Saturday that I'm recording this really late. Actually, it's almost Sunday. They turned on the double XP. I uh, got all the way up to 40, which is the maximum I think we're going to be able to get for the rest of the beta. And basically, I've just been focusing on leveling up this uh, Tundra here. Basically, I just want to get this thing to level 34 as fast as possible so that I can get this Task Force rear grip, which will get my ADS speed down to 450 milliseconds, which is still 50 milliseconds slower than the Pellington's default, but whatever. But before we get started here, if you enjoy this video, leave a like. I really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Black Ops Cold War content. But yeah, once I unlock that uh, faster handle for the Tundra, I'm going to use it for a little bit and kind of decide what I want to do going forward as far as sniping is concerned. Because here's my thing on it, right? I'm the type of sniper where I will almost always prefer damage over usability. Like, as you saw during Modern Warfare, I tended to use the AX-50 more so than the Marksman rifles. Now, that's not necessarily because the AX-50 is better. Actually, really, it's worse from a usability perspective. But I liked the extra damage. I liked the fact that the AX-50 was a lot more consistent than, like, the car, for example. Definitely way more consistent than the carbine. So I was thinking, right? I was thinking, of course I'll prefer the Tundra. The Tundra's a bit slower, but, you know, I'm used to that. I can run with a slow sniper. And if it's more consistent, then, you know, I'm more than happy to trade out that extra ADS speed for consistency. But after using the Tundra for a while, I gotta say, I don't really think the consistency's worth it. It really doesn't feel that more consistent to me. Don't get me wrong, I definitely get the shots here and there where, like, I'll take the shot and get the kill and I'll think, yeah, that definitely would have been a hit marker with the Pellington. But those situations are so few and far between, and most of the time with the speed of the Pellington, I'd be able to either get off a second shot or switch to my secondary in time to kill them or finish them off or whatever. Like, there's not a whole lot of situations where I really feel like the extra damage that the Tundra gives me is worth it versus the number of times that I just get outspeeded because there's a lot of times where I can't even get into my scope in time to kill somebody. Speaking of weapons, by the way, I uh, switched over to this Diamati pistol for a secondary because I put perk greed on my class. I'm not gonna lie, this thing's pretty good. I actually don't see a whole lot of people using this, but I definitely recommend you give it a try. It's actually really strong. See right there, I could have gotten into my scope and shot at him if that was the Pellington easily. It might have been a hit marker, but at least I could have attempted to compete. That's another thing. So like I was complaining about the time to kill in the last video, but then I kind of came to a conclusion at the end. So I'm just going to summarize it now. I don't actually think the time to kill in this game is a problem. I actually think that the time to kill by itself would be perfectly fine where it's at. The problem really is the lag compensation. Because the thing that would get on my nerves a lot playing Modern Warfare, right, is that in Modern Warfare, you don't really have time to disengage from conflicts. Like if you get into a gunfight that you know you're gonna lose or like you run around a corner and you see somebody kind of like hard scoping right at where you're standing an intelligent player would say okay let me get behind cover let me go prone or let me you know go around this corner or whatever let me get somewhere where I have protection and then I can either reassess and re-engage or I can just run away and you know not re-challenge and the thing is in modern warfare you really don't have time to do that because by the time you realize that you're in a losing situation you're basically already dead and so I'm thinking right like with a longer time to kill in this game, I'll be able to make that decision. I'll be able to say, okay, you know what? I can't win this gunfight. Let me back off. Let me play smart. Fucking hit marker again. And let me try again in a minute. However, if you've been playing this beta for any period of time, you probably know that that's really not the case. What tends to happen more often than not is you'll get into a gunfight, try and get around a corner, and then proceed to get absolutely blown up while you're trying to get around the corner because the lag compensation gives your enemy an extra split second to shoot at you that basically negates any extra time to kill that you would have had anyway. All right, so we're just gonna be spawn trapped on B for the rest of the game, so that's that's like fine, I guess. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell here, I'm really struggling to get this out. These lobbies have been absolutely miserable literally all night long. Like, I'm 13 and 12 and I'm third on my team. What the fuck is going on in these lobbies right now? Why is it like this? What? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You cannot tell me that, uh, no, 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 no. You cannot tell me I didn't shoot at him. That was a perfectly centered shot. I'm gonna do a slow motion replay in the video. There is no fucking way that that shouldn't have hit him. But anyway, back to this time to kill thing, right? Basically, because of that extra time that the enemy has to shoot at you, it essentially negates that extra time to kill anyway. I don't know if they're ever gonna do anything about the lag compensation. Probably not. I know all Treyarch games pretty much have it, but yeah, I don't really care that we lost, to be honest. Yeah, these lobbies tonight have been completely miserable, man. I take back what I said in the last video, by the way, or maybe it was two videos ago. I don't remember. There is absolutely 
absolutely skill-based matchmaking in this playlist. I don't know if it's they forgot to turn it on last weekend, or if maybe just because everybody was so new at the game that just everybody sucked. But this weekend is an entirely different animal. People are playing way differently than they were last weekend. I'm getting into so many more games with people just playing in the sweatiest way possible, and not just like one or two people, because I had that before, right? Like last weekend, I would argue is pretty indicative of the way Call of Duty used to be. Where like there'd be a person or two who was like really sweaty and try hard and you kind of are just acknowledging their existence so you so you kind of just avoid where they're hanging out right the problem is that now this lobby is reflecting what 6v6 lobbies are and basically the entirety of modern warfare which is just everybody's playing like that now i don't know if it's because everybody's now like up to date on all the best strategies and classes or something or maybe they actually did turn on the skill-based matchmaking but my lobbies have gotten progressively worse over the last two days and it's not even funny anymore my win loss ratio and domination is absolutely not a five. I just lost that last game. We saw that, right? Just so we're all clear here. These stats don't, they're not real. Anyway, in slightly more positive news, uh, if my math is right, I think this should be the hundredth video I upload on the channel. I don't really plan on making a huge deal out of it or anything. Obviously, I don't have any kind of like special video planned or anything. It's just more of this. Because truth be told, a hundred videos really isn't like that big of a deal for me. You know, I upload pretty frequently. Like I've hit a hundred videos relatively fast. Yeah, I haven't even been uploading on this channel for a year and I've hit a hundred videos. Like, it's not like this is some kind of like, you know, grand achievement of workload or anything like that. I just wanted to make note of it because I've had a couple of other stints of posting videos on YouTube of a couple different styles and none of them really worked out. Not so much in terms of like the success I found with viewership, but what would basically happen was I would start a channel making a particular style of videos on a given game and then I would like finish that game and then lose any sort of motivation to continue making videos. Like I wouldn't want to move on and find the next game. I'd basically just kind of be done. I, dude, look at this guy just crab walking around the map. Like what an absolute legend. What a great player. Your parents must be proud of you, dude. I hate the middle of cartel, by the way. Like these bushes, I don't know what the deal is with them. I never feel like I can see anything over them, but it feels like other people can see like fucking perfect 2020 vision over them. And I don't understand how. Like people will just beam lock me through these fucking bushes. And I feel like I'm blind as a bat. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's a setting or if it's my TV or maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know what the problem is. All I know is that I feel like I have no vision whatsoever when I'm moving through these bushes. How? Literally how? Tell somebody, please tell me how. Where did I shoot him? See, that right there is why I'm considering switching back to the Pellington. Because, like, if I'm going to be putting up with that nonsense anyway, I might as well put up with it with decent ADS speed as well. How did he see me through the smoke? How? How did he see me through that smoke? Where's the smoke on his screen? This game is fucking ridiculous, dude. It really is. Come on, dude. I, like, I, how, can anybody, anybody in the entire community or on the dev team, somebody, if somebody sees this video, please leave a comment and tell me how the fuck I deserve that. Please, anybody, I'm begging you. How do I deserve a hit marker there? What did I do wrong in that situation? All right, I'm done. I'm tapping out there before my brain literally explodes. Sorry if this is another short video or if there's like no substance or anything like that. I really hope this isn't indicative of the full game, man. I, I hope. But yeah, anyway, 100 videos. Woohoo, I guess.